Nine News reporter Jennifer Meckles joins us now. Jenny, you spoke to the lead researcher about this project and they're still recruiting folks? Yes, they are. So if this maybe interests you, the researchers say the potency in cannabis has really increased higher and higher THC, but at the same time, dependency has increased too causing more problematic uses and behaviors. But unlike the well understood treatments for alcohol or traditional drug abuse, cannabis is kind of a new field and it's wide open for new research. We do know that cannabis use um, is addictive. So the higher the THC levels in the cannabis, the more likely people are to become, um, develop these problematic patterns, become addicted to cannabis, things like that. Now so. the question Dr. Cinnamon Bidwell wants to ask is how to solve it. She's a professor and researcher at CU Boulder and leading a clinical study. We're interested in the power, the potential of cannabidiol. And CBD just operates very, very different than THC. It's non-addictive. It doesn't have abuse liability. Dr. Bidwell's team is tracking heavy cannabis concentrate users throughout this study to see if CBD can help them cut back or cut it out altogether. Potentially interact with systems with sleep, anxiety, withdrawal, some of those things, and it might um, soothe some of those systems. But right now it's a lot of anecdotes and there isn't a lot of scientific data to really say whether or not that's the case. So our study is um, designed to rig rigorously test that in a clinical trial format. Participants get a daily dose of CBD along with behavioral and therapeutic support. Video captured and shared by the university shows one of the study members. I wanted to change that habit. I wanted to find a way to use it more responsibly, um, more in a way that was good for my health and like my self care. Well, there's so many interesting, important, impactful research questions that we get to study from the risks of cannabis to ways in which it may actually help people. Dr. Bidwell's team also has a control study, so some folks are just getting a placebo during this. They are still recruiting. They're hoping to get about 150 people to study over the next two years. And they're only using CBD products in this study, guys, that are available on the market today, stuff that people can actually use so that if they discover there is some sort of a helpful component to all of this, that can start immediately. You don't have to like wait for something to be developed. It's not a drug development, right? It's like mm -hmm. the, it's studying what we already have available to us. So, and, and it, oh, go ahead, please. No, I was just gonna say, are they offering like different, cause some people like to edibles, like to eat their THC. Other mm -hmm. people like to smoke it. Like, are they kind of stretching that out or it's like, this is what you get kind of thing. So for the CBD, it's like a, I think, I think they said it was like a pill form. So oh. what you're getting in the study is gonna be a very, everybody's gonna be getting the same thing as my understanding, but they're looking for people who are generally high level, high potency THC users, I think probably would it ever form that takes? You were going to say They'll something? They'll take too? it. <laughs> and the goal, though, is to wean them off. But then do they also wean them off of the CBD eventually or no? That's a good question. I didn't I'm curious that question. <laughs> the idea, though, is definitely for people who are using the THC right. um, cannabis here, right? The um, psychoactive. Yeah, that's yeah. step one. Yep. Step one. Step two, though, Sam, hmm, you should okay. be part of this research. Well, maybe CBD you don't <laughs> want to be weaned off of. I've heard a lot of benefits to sure, CBD. Sure, sure. It's and not psychoactive. Some of this isn't like a full-blown, let's cut it out entirely. It's, it's a reduction in use is the idea here. So okay. step one. That's a good idea for step two, though. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.